we are at Summer Oaks on the Wisconsin again, and I see a lot of fish out there. We have a, a bit of a piece of worm um, under a weight, and we're gonna toss it near that boat dock over there, because I do think I can pick up some bait. And I need some bait before dark if I'm gonna catch the mighty flathead guttlefish here. Now, usually I'd be able to uh, get worms under a bobber and do this, but you know, this year has been really different because this year, I think that should work. This year, honestly, the worms under a bobber just hasn't really been working because I don't know, like there was a lot of algae here earlier and uh, I couldn't get any real bluegills to actually hit around this area. So hopefully that out there will actually work. We're also going to uh, toss worm under bobber out just in case there is something here. Cause I think a lot of times there are smallmouth bass here out there and I wouldn't mind catching some of those. And if there is a bluegill here, I also want it. I hear small shakes. So I'm gonna reel this in and hopefully we get a fish. I think that's a fish. That's a significantly bigger one than I thought. I thought this was gonna be small, but I think it's one of those pan-sized gills. It could actually be something else rather than a... Oh no, it's actually a smallmouth bass. It is not a bluegill. That's why it felt a lot more powerful than a gill. It is actually a smallie. Lively little bass, but I'll see ya. All right, let's just throw another uh, one out there with this. I think there's probably a lot of smallies here, but I don't know. I'm looking for a bluegill to use as bait and I cannot find a bait fish right now. And I need one for dark. I think I can just use the small drums I can catch, but uh, I would really like it if I could catch a bluegill as bait. Gills have been a lot harder to find this year than before, whereas smallies have been way more abundant this year here, which is a, a little bit annoying because most people prefer smallies, but I want a bluegill for bait. I think I got another one here. I might have, or I might have just lost the bait. I don't know. Nope, that's a fish. Uh, yep, that's definitely a fish. There's fish over there, just not what I want. Is that a bluegill? Is that another smallmouth? Yeah, that's another smallmouth. See, there seems to be a lot of smallmouth here. <laughs> Ah, uh, smallmouth bass, but uh, not what I want. Second one of the day, I'll see ya. Need some bait after dark and the gills just aren't biting. I can just use the drums I'll catch later, but I'd rather use a gill. A lot of smallmouth here though, a lot. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I can feel something there. Maybe it's a little bit bigger than what I've been getting. Yeah, it feels slightly heavier. It's probably a sheep head, but probably not the size I want. That is, what is, oh, is that a, oh, that's a walleye. That's not a bad walleye. That's probably like a, I don't know what I'd say, like a 13, 14. Probably like a 13 or so. Yeah, 12, 13. Not keepable, but not bad walleye. Small walleye, probably 12, 13 inches. Not bad. Let's let it go and keep fishing. All right, gonna just put him in the water here. That'll be pretty happy. There you go. There he goes. All right, folks. That Wally completely ripped my worm apart, so we have another one on the hook. Hopefully, they don't rip all my worms apart, because I do need some to actually fish for like a small drum bait. But either way, um, pretty good. Got like four fish so far, nothing big. Really need like a decent sized gill to actually act as bait, because I know there are indeed big fish here. All right, I think I got something. I think it's gonna be a lot bigger on this pole. Oh yeah, that's bigger. What is that? That seems a lot bigger. No, I think it just feels bigger because it's in the water. It's not as big anymore. I think it was just, it is bigger though. Well, is that a, what is, oh, that's a drum, okay. That's what I thought it was. Freshwater drum. All right, we'll take it, we'll take it. Not the one I want because that is a lot bigger than what I want. I want a small one so I can use it as bait. Don't want to cut one up that's that big. All right, drum, see ya. All right, let's throw this uh, worm back out there and hopefully get a much smaller drum because I want a live bait still for flats. But uh, that's just not uh, happening right now, unfortunately. But yeah, let's see what we can get. All right, I got something on this pole. It doesn't feel super small. Man, where are the super small drums? I don't want like a... There it is. I think it's a drum. I see the... Is that a small drum or is it a big one? It has a drum, but oh, it's still a little too big for my taste. I need a smaller one. So yeah, hopefully get a smaller one of this type. 
because uh, this is what I'm looking for. Still a little too big fish, see ya. All right, guys, I'm going to uh, throw this out again. Hopefully, we can actually get another a smaller drum or even a smaller fish here. So that would be nice. I do need some bait. Did get a small flathead last time. So I wouldn't mind getting one this time on this too, or even a big flathead. Either way, hopefully one of these gets me something good. But I got what feels to be like another drum, but this one does not feel small either. What happened to the smaller ones? It's not offering much resistance, but it's not like the micro ones I'm after. I know they're all small drum. I might as well just cut one sooner or later. So I am gonna run out of bait, but uh, yeah, another drum. But uh, we're gonna try to catch one or two more to see if I can get a smaller one. All right, we're gonna toss this stuff out there. Again, there is a tree out there, so I'm guessing a lot of the stuff has come from that, but it doesn't really hook any of my baits or doesn't get me snagged. So I'm hoping that there's more like a small drum, maybe like three, like five, six inches, and that'll be really good bait. Need a couple of them actually. I'll just toss this back out and we will get back to you when we actually have something good. All right, there we go. You know, the weird thing about summer oaks is that like the big fish don't hit until 10 or 11 or even later maybe. And you might actually run out of bait before that unless you get like, you know, uh, like a cut bait from a drum or something because these um, small fish bite every two seconds. All right, decided just to use a cut up drum head from a bigger drum, as you can see right there. The uh, worms are getting hit by like random stuff. And realistically, they're not that dependable right now. So that should be a good toss and hopefully you can get some good fish that way. Got something else small on the line. It's probably just another drum, right? See if it is. Oh no, it's a small gopple fish. All right, it's a small channel. Not what I'm looking for, but hey, first channel of the night, not too bad. Let's keep fishing. Third species, gopple fish. See ya. All right, let's uh, toss this back out over there. And uh, hopefully we get a much bigger fish of a slightly different species of gato fish. Like I've been saying, all the fish here bite between 10 and 11, uh, the big ones anyways, and I finally got a channel. I'm almost sure it's a channel. It does not seem like a flat. It'd be nice if it was, because it is pretty big. Need to readjust my drag a little bit to reel it in eventually. Just make sure it's got plenty of drag so it doesn't like suddenly snap off. But yeah, I finally got a channel catfish. All right, finally got some content. Oh, there it is. There it is. Swimming hard, swimming hard, but not gonna get off unless it just completely cuts me somewhere. I don't know if there's a snag over here in the shallows. Hopefully not, but definitely fighting a lot like a channel cat. It's hoping for a flat, but didn't get one today. And I need to make sure it doesn't just go to the dock. Got plenty. Got plenty of uh, line here so I can just fight it. Not gonna make the same mistake I did at Lake Columbia the other day and let it get off, but yeah. Probably like a 10 pound channel cat. The ones here are about the same size as Mendota, maybe slightly smaller, but generally about the same size. I think this is a 10 pounder. Probably won't weigh it, but it's probably around 10. So I'm guessing maybe slightly smaller than 10. Yeah, there it is. See right there, makes the eh, eh, same, about Mendota size. Pretty nice. It's gonna get tired out a little bit. I have caught a big flat here, but with just cut bait tonight, probably not. The flathead I caught here, I just threw like straight out into the abyss. So this is the channel cat that I have. And I do have my net with me here. Unlike usual, I do actually have my net with me. So I'm not like in a desperate plight, but I'm trying to like fight the channel cat and get the net at the same time like I usually am. So yes, channel catfish. Right there. Place is not devoid of cats. It's nice. Finally got a big one. 
waiting for a long time today. Huh? Oh yeah, it's actually more than 10. And I look at it, probably like 12, 13 at least. If not a little bigger, it's pretty long. It's not as fat as the last one I caught at Warner, but pretty uh, overall a nice fish. There we go. Long channel catfish. They're all big here. Well, they're most of them are big here. Channel catfish. We got a 12 and a half pound channel catfish here. Very, very nice fish. But uh, yeah, not really the one I'm looking for, but a very, very nice fish. Very nice gothel fish. We're going to just let him go. The catfish release ramp. Not the one at Warner, but the one here, obviously. This one's long, but not super fat. So I'm gonna let him go right here. Also gets deep very easily, and uh, this guy is gonna just be there. I think I need to, with all these catfish, you need to push the tail a little bit. And when they get fully in the water, they just go softly under the dock, usually. Channel catfish. That's gonna do it for today. Uh, usually if they don't hit by now, they don't really hit. Got that one big catfish, a small catfish. Uh, did get a flat here, here yeah, uh, last week, but not today. Got several drum, huge amounts of drum. Many I didn't get on video. Two bass, a walleye during the little bit of daylight I had. And overall, it was a pretty good time. But, uh, you know, I'm hoping to hit that big flathead again. And um, I might try to find it on the rock or the Wisconsin, anywhere. But uh, I think I'll have better luck, you know, as it cools off a little bit. But this boat dock is still full of fish. So please like and subscribe. Hit the bell notifications button. Drop a uh, comment. That helps with the algorithm. And I'll see you guys in the next fishing adventure.